hey friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my space my room i am your hostess with the mostest miss kita wita and y'all know over here we're going to talk about everything that's going to help you improve the quality of your life child get your life get your life right and since it is breast cancer awareness month i kind of want to stay focused on breast cancer since i am a soul survivor what they say say the tatas so we're gonna save my tatas um and other people's tatas <laughs> so <laughs> i want to kind of stay on the topic and we're gonna jump right into it oh but before we do we have to be friends okay i know you like talking about stuff like this we're going to talk about everything that's going to help you improve the quality of your life okay so if you like stuff like that then we got to be friends you got to subscribe to my channel so i'll give you a moment of silence thank you and don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post and that just so happens to be um it'll be every day <laughs> so thank you for joining the essence of earth team and today we're going to be talking about microgreens now i bet y'all didn't even much know that microgreens contain so many more nutrients uh, and minerals as opposed to when these microgreens actually mature so it, for instance like eating broccoli sprouts like when they're little babies is better than eating them when they're mature because of the amount of nutrients or what people like to say they're very nutrient dense okay so like i said since we're still on the topic of breast cancer awareness you know so i just want to kind of Put some stuff out there that you know maybe you could do uh if you have been diagnosed with breast cancer and maybe you don't know where to start or what to do then you know you could kind of implement some of these things that i'm going to tell you for the rest of this month okay i am a soul survivor so i i'm a soul survivor okay i got the scars to prove it so um check me out so first of all microgreens alone are high in antioxidants so if you if you have cancer um you want to eliminate free radicals as much as you possibly can and you want to flood your body with minerals with nutrients so consuming different types of microgreens is what's going to help you because they're high in antioxidants those are going to help keep those free radicals in check check they're going to help keep those free radicals in check and then you know as a result of that it helps reduce the um the risk of cancer and it also you know kind of aids that therapy that you're already in right or if, even if you're doing it the natural way if you're doing um like your own natural remedies and stuff like that or maybe you know you're not actually going through cancer you're in remission and you just want to make sure that you're staying healthy throughout this whole process okay so consuming microgreens i consume all kinds of microgreens you know i'm kind of um i'm a thug or a gangster what they say because i eat them raw i just eat it you know like the cows eat the grass like the horse eat the hay nay hay that's what i do i just eat it sometimes i'll add it in a soup or something um i just eat it just eat it <laughs> i always say i just gotta get it in me once it's in me my body gonna do the work i done fed my cells and not myself that's that's my motto feed your cells and not yourself okay just get it in you honey so uh it's high in antioxidants secondly um a lot of the microgreens like broccoli kale and radish they they're high in something called sulforaphane and actually tomorrow i'm probably going to do a video specifically on broccoli sprouts because there is a lot of research that that's out now that's talking about um how beneficial broccoli sprouts are for cancer patients so i really want to hone in and focus on that so i'm going to do another video specifically talking about broccoli sprouts probably tomorrow since we're already on the time already on the topic um but the sulforaphane is what helps inhibit cancer cells so get you some microgreens get you some kale okay get you some radish i actually like radish sprouts um I'm, i always mix my sprouts so it radish is kind of like spicy and i love spicy food so if you get in your greens and you want a little a little tang a little twang adding radish to it or adding that radish to the radish sprouts to a salad it, it really takes it to another level i actually love radish sprouts okay i like to eat 
Um, you know, when I'm eating my hummus out at <laughs> my son thought my son thought I was crazy. <laughs> I get a little bit of hummus and then I get my my um my sprouts and then I add some lemon juice and I just kind of make it real watery and then I add a little bit of olive oil it's weird is the average person probably won't eat it but I really like it it's really good to me I eat like a salad dressing that's what I do um so a lot of these microgreens are also going to help aid in detoxification especially cabbage Cabbage also contains diostrin and I think I don't I think I did a video talking about diostrin when it comes to uh, wild yam, but uh, cabbage also contains it. So, you know, consuming some cabbage, <laughs> eating cabbage on a regular basis. Yes, honey, that also will help aid in detoxification and um, kind of go through it aid in the detoxification as well as whatever therapy that you're currently on or if you're just you just want to maintain uh you just want to maintain so the cancer don't um so the cancer doesn't come back so if that's that's what you want to do and there's that uh and i think that's it friend that's it but like i said microgreens are really good and there are so many you can choose from um you think about uh uh lentil beans lentil beans are my favorite because one they cheap and you can go to your store and just get them you can go to any store and get lentil beans and it's very cheap and you can just eat that <laughs> like lentil beans actually taste amazing they really do the lentil sprouts i mean they taste amazing so they're cheap the broccoli sprouts they're they're so cheap you can go online i will link the company that i got mine i'll link it in the description box but consuming microgreens are so much more nutrient dense than when your greens actually mature so consuming them throughout this process the um throughout your process of cancer therapy or whether you like i said whether you just you don't want cancer to come back and you want to do everything like i am everything possible so it won't come back and that's what you got to do friend eat some microgreens and you know you know fuck it up <laughs> like like i said i just eat them i'll add it to my food really quick just you just got to use them and they're so easy to make literally you get these little sprouting jars i also link them in the description below you get the little sprouting jars um you put them in there you and for some of the um sprouts you do have to soak them overnight um but not all of them uh, but you get them and you put them in these little these little jars they got it has a little mesh it's kind of open so that the water can seep out from the jars and um yeah they literally go grow within a couple of days so you can always have some handy so broccoli um uh microgreens in itself are just amazing for cancer uh so i hope this has blessed you in some kind of way look forward to my video tomorrow where i'll be talking about broccoli sprouts sprouts specifically and everything that's in that that's going to help aid you in your healing journey friends i hope this was a blessing because it was a blessing making it and sharing this information so until tomorrow be blessed bye <laughs>